Hey guys, what's up? It's Insane Gaming 2010 here, and today I have another 1 to 400 model review. This time it's of the Aer Lingus Airbus A330 300, uh, of course, in the scale of 1 to 400 Maybot Aero Classics. It's a really nice model, and if you watch the Gemini Jets 13 airport update called Gemini Jets Airport Update JBLU with me in it, uh, we had this plane in there and it was referred to as JBLU. It's a really nice model, like I've said. Uh, so we're going to get to it in a second. Before we start with that, I just wanted to say, um, I was watching a few of my airport updates, model reviews, etc. And I uh, I noticed that in my videos, I zoom in and out a lot. Um, way too much, I think. So I'm going to stop doing that. Um, of course, I'm going to still zoom in so that you guys can see the vital details of the models and the airport. But I'm really going to stop uh, being so zoom in, zoom out sensitive. So I really apologize for you guys. Um, I hope that makes the model reviews a lot better. So you're not uh, seeing half the video just be a transition from zoom out to zoom in. So anyway, we're going to start out with the uh, box quickly. We have the clovers, the three leaf clovers on the box. And I think it's one of the sickest boxes out there. Uh, I'm sorry, Gemini Jets, but um, this is a really, really cool box. Um, there's clovers on here. And the box goes from like a darker blue... Uh, light blue to a uh, to a green and that's a really really nice addition so anyway let's get right to the model um, let it focus for a second there you go so we have the cockpit windows and we have the name which is and uh, zoom in to try and find the name uh, Saint Alfie um, it's a pretty interesting name um, and then we have the landing gear, the landing gear roll, which is pretty nice. Uh, then they have A330, 300, then Aer Lingus, and then going back, you have the L1 door, the L2, which I'm not sure about which one they bore out of. I'm pretty sure it's L2, but uh, I'm not positive. And on the engine, they have a another clover leaf. Um, at Boston, I've seen the 330, 200 at the gate. I've seen the 330-300 push back at, in the terminal. I've seen the 330-300 land. Um, uh, and that's basically it. I mean, I usually whenever I go, the problem is, is like for me, I don't. I miss the uh, the heavy departure push whenever I the international heavies. Um, other than the one time I, I was flying on one, just because the last JetBlue departure of the day out of Pittsburgh is uh, 6 o'clock, and that kind of misses some of them. So unfortunately, I don't see it them all the time but when I do I really like the Aer Lingus. Um, after that we have the winglets which you can't really tell but uh, can't really tell much from them but it has a clover leaf on that. Under that we have the landing gears again. The landing gears are kinda uh, not shaped funny but the direction they're in is kinda funny. Um, they do hang down a little bit um, but I mean the model still stands fine, it still is balanced perfectly, so I don't really have many many complaints. Then we have the, um, and I love how the livery, it just shines off the light like this. I mean, I know it's just a model, but in real life, I'm sure it's beautiful to see. We have the uh, L3 door over, a little, not over the wing, but relatively. And then we have the registration. Shoot, this uh, All right, there you go. Registration Echo India uh, Delta Uniform Zulu. Now this plane itself, I looked up where the registration goes. Um, <coughs> this plane itself performs uh, around three, four routes. It always does. Its main route is New York, J, uh, New York John F Kennedy to Dublin. Its second most uh, run route is Boston to Dublin and uh, Dublin Boston its third most is um, <coughs> Dublin to Chicago O'Hare and after that it's Chicago I mean uh, sorry it's Dublin to Orlando um, so this plane flies all four of those last time it did Boston I believe was two days ago right now it just is finishing up a flight from Dublin to John F. Kennedy so here's the tail, really detailed, one of my favorite tails, and overall just a really nice livery. Um, as you guys can see, there's like a little 
stripe that goes down the whole model and uh, I'm going to zoom in just so I can focus a little bit better so you can see that there you go stripe that runs down the whole model and uh, I think it looks really good so overall I would highly recommend this model I'm going to get the 200 as well just uh, in a little bit of time just because I mean uh, I'm trying to beef up on other airlines before I start beefing up on airlines that I already have other than maybe BA um, I'm getting Lufthansa, Iceland Air, uh, Air France, Alaska in the uh, next few months so that would be good and then I'm going to focus on domestics again kind of go back to getting domestics a lot JAL um, as well that's one of the ones I really need to get and um, so uh, that's essentially it um, as I was saying I'll just flip to the undercarriage the landing gears are kind of shaped funny and they kind of go like this a lot like but it really isn't that bad oh also the registrations on the under wing that's a little nice so I would highly recommend this model it's a really really good model if you uh, if you want to get a new model um, Aer Lingus they fly to uh, they've announced service to San Francisco they're restarting that which is gonna be sweet five daily starting off and then, I mean five weekly starting off then it goes to daily uh, after a few months um, so they have San Francisco Chicago Orlando um, Boston New York and uh, they're getting 757s, and I think maybe they might start Fort Lauderdale, possibly with the JetBlue feed down there. But uh, that's obviously just a possibility. Um, I think, uh, of course, they've already you've already seen that they're starting San Francisco with a plane that's freed up. They're only getting 375s, so maybe if they were to get a lot, uh, decent amount more, which, I mean, maybe, you never know what could happen. If they were to get a little bit more, then it could be interesting to see what routes they'll run. Um... <clears throat> possibly after getting back to LAX they could start doing second class I mean like second tier cities in the US um, cities with big Irish base big Irish populations um, I mean I can hope uh, I can hope for certain cities but it's a really nice model never nevertheless I got it for about 35 bucks including shipping and uh, it's highly worth it so if you guys can get it I got it on eBay um, like I do most of my models uh, you can't really find it online at a regular seller. Uh, you just have to go straight to eBay. But, I mean, that's not a problem because the seller that I got this from is about 10 available still, I think. And uh, he was a good seller. So, once again, guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you uh, liked the changes that I made. I really uh, apologize for zooming in and out in all my videos. Um, I'm trying to limit that in the future. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a good Labor Day. Uh, at the uh, end of summer, uh, getting back to the grind of school, and uh, it's going to be a good year. So, going to do some plane flights, and uh, it'll all be going by as a breeze. So, thanks for watching, guys, and have a good day. Peace.